Fake niggas, that shit never bothered me. If I'm broke, then we all live in poverty. Same niggas on win, never doubted me. But these bitches, they only just bother me. We got money. What's up everyone, welcome back to another tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do some cool effects like like stretch pre-shake, warp effect, and just some super cool color settings. Um, this one's going to be a little bit more advanced, so just be prepared. And um, yeah, so as you can see, I have my first clip in, it's already synced, my music's already in, markers are there, and I have my um, timeline, timeline settings in already. So let's just watch the first clip just to see. Alright, so now we're gonna add the velocity first, so unlink the clip, go to return controls. Uh, so go to the first frame, you see the the fires there. So right there, add a speed point, go three frames back. And then when you see the one start shrinking, so like right there, add another one. Um, this back one's gonna be 50%, this one's gonna be 200, and then this one's gonna be 50 also. Let's watch that one time. Yep, looks very good. Um, now I'm gonna show you how to do a cool stretch shake effect. Alright, now I'm gonna show you how to do a really cool effect. It's like a stretch resolution pre shake. Shout out to Adam EU for showing me how to do this, but I'm just gonna explain it in my video. So first thing you want to do is go to where your shot hits, right here. Uh, control B, split the clip, and then go back a little bit. Where you want to start. Maybe like right here where the guy starts talking. Right there, and then you're going to have to go into your search bar. And by the way, you need Sapphire plugins for this, so I'll link that in the description to download it. And you're just going to search up S underscore stretch. So stretch frame edges, drag that on. Go to the effects, and I'm gonna load in a preset. Be right back. All right, so here's my preset um, right here. Uh, copy my settings, but pretty much you're just gonna want to go to the first frame of the where you cut this clip, keyframe this, and just put it to one so it's normal, and then go to that, and then make it like seven or something. Seven. Alright, but that's not it, so then you're going to go to here and just type in shake, so just the regular DaVinci Resolve shake, drag that on, load that up, and then copy my settings I'm about to put in. Alright, so here's my settings, please copy them, it's the best settings, don't change anything, make sure this is 0 0.07, point, point zero zero 0.007, my bad, and yeah, so now we can go back here. Motion scale, keyframe that, zero, and then over here, keyframe that, and then make it 0 0.6 or something. Alright, now we're just going to do something to make it look a little bit better. So go to video, go to crop top and bottom, keyframe both of those, go to the beginning of the clip, keyframe those, by the way. And then go to the end of the clip, keyframe them, and make put them to 33. Slowly, it kind of crops. There. And now, this is the most important part to make it look really, really good. Go to your color tab, um, save it, and then go to your color wheels, uh, this one, and just pretty much keyframe it here at this beginning of this clip, and then just do something a little bit to initiate the keyframe there, and then go to the end of the clip, so, and then just drag it kind of like to make it look like that, like icy blue, like that, and so... Alright, it's just look, it's rendering it. So then, anyway, we can go here and go to the beginning of this part of the clip, keyframe corrector one, and then just do something like drag it up to red or something. And don't drag it back down because it kind of looks weird when it goes back down. So, anyway, it should look like this. And now we'll add a shake to this end part so it looks really good. So again, you'll need Sapphire plugins for this. So S underscore shake, drag it onto, oops, drag it onto this part of the clip. And then I'm going to load in a preset, go right back. 
All right, so I loaded my preset. Um, feel free to copy my settings. I'll just go through them. Anyway, so now I'm just going to be keyframing the amplitude. So instantly I'll bring it up to maybe like 0 0.3. And then I'll just have it go like halfway through and then just drag it back down. So now it's going to be like this. Well, that's pretty good. Actually, I'm just going to bring this up maybe to 0.5 because... That's a little bit weak of a shake there. And that looks sick. Look at that, bro. Oh my god. Alright, anyway. So let's just watch that over again. Save it. Please save it. You're going to lose so much work if you don't save it. And yeah. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look the best. There's obviously, it's not the best clip for this type of effect. But if you find like a... If you find the perfect clip for it, it just looks incredible. Like, um, look at my most recent montage, my Coco one. I used it in my first clip, and it looks amazing. So, yeah. Anyway, let's go to the second clip. All right, so got my second clip in, and I synced and everything. So yeah. So let's just do the velocity. So go to the first frame you see fire. Right there. Add a speed point. Go back three frames. One, two, three. Add another speed point. And then go to when you see the numbers start shrinking. So, I don't know, let's just like back here. It's good. Uh, unlink it, by the way. Before you change any of the speeds. That'll mess it up a lot. Um, and then, middle one, 200. First one, 50. And then, last one is 50 as well. And so, let's just watch it back. Damn, it looks nice. And so now I'm going to show you how to do a really, really cool dent effect. Alright, so just go to your fusion tab, control space, and dent. Add the first one. Hold shift and drag this here. Right there, and then turn the size to 1, and the strength to 0. And now go to where your numbers pop up, first pop up. So mine pop up there, you can see it. And then go 8 frames back. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Strength. And then go 8 frames forward to where the numbers first pop up. So right there. Keep from that again. And make it negative 0 0.07. And then go 1 frame forward. Keep from that. And bring it back to 0. So it'll look like this. You can see it zoom in a little bit. And for the kill. And also another thing you guys should really use, um, if you have any effect, just right click it, in your fusion tab by the way, right click it, go to settings, and save as, and so I'm going to do like, and you can name it, so dent effect, and I have, these are all my settings, and so you just save it, and then if I drag over my second monitor, it's here, and then whenever I want to use this effect, I can just drag it in, and then it's there, and I can use it, I don't have to put the numbers in again, I just have to use the keyframe, so that's... That's really good. So I'll just I'm gonna delete that though. Um. Anyway, so yeah. Now I'm just gonna add effect on this clip. All right. So now we're just gonna add a little shake with another effect. So split your clip where the beat drop is. Search up S underscore shake. You also need Sapphire plugins for this. I really recommend getting them. Like it's so good. It gives you so many effects. Gives you so many more options. It's free, by the way. I'll have it linked in the description. It's the it's the best thing ever for editing. Um, it works with any software, by the way. So if you want to switch softwares, they still work. Anyway, um, so go to your here, and then um, load up. I'm gonna load my preset. Whoops, loading it in, and then that's it. Okay, so pretty much, if you want to save a preset, copy these. Save this preset, by the way. Just copy all these settings. Um, there, and most importantly. Make this red amplitude 2.5. This gives you like an RGB distort. It it's literally the only effect Numby the editor uses. He uses this shake with this red red distort, and it, his videos are amazing. So pretty much, then you just press save preset and you'll save it. Anyway, so at the beginning of the clip, keyframe, and then make this 0 0.5, and then go to the end of the clip here, and then bring it back down to zero. 
Alright, so now I'm going to show you how to do a really nice sniper velocity. I have my clips synced up and everything. So just unlink them. Read time controls. Um, and then just zoom in. And then go to where you, the first frame you see your sniper fire. So it's right there. Keyframe that. And then go to where the, the height of the numbers. So like right there is good. And then make this 400%. And then make this 50%. So it and it looks really really good all right so now i'm gonna show you how to do an underwater effect so yep so now go to where your beat drop is unlink your unlock your audio my bad um make a cut it and then go back a good amount that's probably good and then i'm gonna split there too go here and then go to your equalizer turn it on drag your one down here just right there, and then your four down here. Oops. That's why you save your project, kids. All right, so I'm back after it crashed. So anyway, what you want to do is unlock the audio. Um, do that. Make sure this. I like right here. So with that, go here. Go to your equalizer, and then drag the one down here to like one k, and then the four down here to like just like right about there. So it's gonna sound like this. That's it. Sounds really, really nice. Like there. And now I'm gonna show you how to do like so it's simple effects. So go to your um, effects, drag an adjustment clip, sync it up with your marker, and now cut it down and go in your color tab. Um, Alt Y. And then go to the five on the bottom. Key, I uh, don't key from it. Um, and then go here. Make sure this is on node sizing and make this like 1.01. 1. So it gives it like this blue RGB to store. It looks really nice. And then also, if you want to just make it look a little bit better, you can cut your clip here and then just search up flicker. And it should be in open effects. So just add flicker edition right here. And it's really cool. Flicker. So effects, and then just make it turn on speed a little bit because faster is it kind of doesn't look nice. So there. All right, guys. One last thing. If you enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers before the end of the year, and it really mean a lot. Also, check out my other montages. If you like my editing style or whatever, and peace.